My name is Han Li Jun. I'm the founder of Chili House. And I'm also the restaurant's head chef. I've been in the craft of making Peking duck for 29 years. My first time learning how to make Peking duck was in 1991 at Grand Hotel Beijing. By 1995, I began to make Peking duck on my own. Today, I'll let Chili House's Peking duck master, Chef Han, demonstrate making an authentic Peking duck. A perfect Peking duck is maroon in color. The duck's skin is crispy, and the quality of meat is juicy and very tender. Chef Han and myself worked on elevating the duck's roasting quality, recipe, plating, and customer's experience. This is the authentic and traditional Peking duck. From preparing the duck to roasting it, making a Peking duck takes two days. Before creating Peking duck, we have to first remove the duck's wings and legs. In Beijing, the duck's legs can be made into another cold dish. We tried around five different types of ducks from different places of origin, as well as local fresh ducks. Chili House's ducks are from Long Island, New York. We wash the ducks after the duck legs have been removed. Then, we'll start to hang the ducks. Three fingers from the neck hook through the duck's neck joint. Hanging the duck this way prevents the skin from tearing. The next step is to scald the skin. Scalding the duck's skin allows it to look plump and full, flat and smooth. After the duck has been scalded, it is hung with crispy skin water, which includes honey, water, maltose, and white vinegar in specific proportions to create the color of red dates and allows the skin to become crispy after roasting. Now, let's take the duck to our specialized duck room for the first round of air drying. Our duck room has air conditioning to control the room's temperature, fans to control wind speed, and a dehumidifier to control humidity. Our temperature is maintained at 45 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit, seven to eight hours. Once the ducks have been air dried, the skin forms a harder shell. A tougher skin makes it crispier after roasting. The color would be more even too. Place them in the freezer for 24 hours. This is a crucial step. It allows the duck to be kept for storage easily, and more importantly, it causes the skin to be thickened. This produces a crispier skin that melts in your mouth. After the duck has been in the freezer for 24 hours, take the frozen ducks back to the duck room for air drying and defrosting. This will take seven to eight hours. Let's prepare the accompaniments to Peking duck. Some restaurants serve Peking duck with white sugar, garlic, and minced pickles. But Chili House has kept the original way of eating it with green onion, sweet bean sauce, and cucumber strips. After over 40 hours of prep, we can finally roast the duck. This traditional Peking duck oven is imported from China. For an oven like this, the most we can fit is 11 ducks. Roast the duck for 50 minutes to an hour at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. The fat stripping off the duck causes the smoke. A well-made Peking duck is even in color after being roasted, and it feels light when you hold it in your hands. Don't wait or delay. We should begin carving. Before we begin carving, we need to light the candles. This is to maintain the temperature of the duck. Traditional Peking duck calls for 108 slices. The first cut is made at the duck's breast, then the part of the breast that is near the neck. The duck knife is held at a 45 degree angle and sliced evenly. The skin remains attached to the meat. Every cut is systematic. Now, we'll carve the lower part of the duck, closer to the thighs. Two 
two slices on the side of the thigh. There should be around 20 slices made here. Once you're done carving the intersection of the duck, use the same carving technique and continue on the other section. In Beijing, carving ducks in itself is a profession. To master, this will require training for more than three years. Professional carving masters must carve up to 7,000 to 10,000 ducks. One might not know how to roast a duck, but if they can carve, they'll be known as carving masters. Chili House's carving speed is very fast and very professional. It must be done within seven to eight minutes. The duck you're looking at is still producing hot steam. Usually the breast meat is plated at the front, where it's easiest for the guests to pick it up with their chopsticks. This is called fish scale plating. This is how it's done at high-end banquets, because the first bite is always the best for guests. 108 slices of Peking duck look good on the plate, and the texture of the duck meat is wonderful. Now, let me show you the correct way to enjoy Peking duck. First, take the hot duck wrap and place it onto the pre-warmed plate. Take the cucumber strips and dip it in some duck sauce. Place it at the top of the wrap. Top it off with the slices of duck meat Next, add the green onion strips. Take the bottom section of the wrap and fold it upwards, followed by left to right folds of the wrap. With this wrapping technique, you'll get to experience in your first bite the crisp of the skin, fragrance of the duck meat, and the blend of duck sauce and green onion. It's a full and satisfying sensation. Right now, the standard has reached what we initially set out for. An experienced Peking duck chef spends his life learning. I want to strive for perfection. I want to exceed what previous masters have taught me. The future Peking duck chefs will surpass me too.